For those who don't know about the Native Fish in the Classroom program, it is an environmental education program based in New Mexico, led by the New Mexico Fish and Wildlife Conservation Office of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. The program brings native fish to the students with the help of our partners like the New Mexico Department of Game and Fish, U.S. Forest Service, and more national fish hatchery, just to name a few. The Native Fish in the Classroom program provides students, our future stewards, an opportunity to see and learn about native fish found in rivers within their communities across the Gila and Rio Grande watersheds here in New Mexico. This year, just over a thousand students in 23 schools participated in the program. Spread across New Mexico from Taos in the north to Silver City in the south, these students took on the challenge of caring for native fish in their classrooms. I am thrilled to say these students exhibited pride in a job well done and empathy for the fish in their care. They took on water quality testing, water changes, and feeding with great enthusiasm. Their dedication to their fish was admirable. Unfortunately, the students' time with their fish was cut short this year. We're sharing this video montage of our partners so students know their fish made at home. So students, this is for you. Hi students, it's Angela, the fish lady. Your fish made at home. I had the honor of escorting your fish to the Rio Grande along with a few of our partners. I want you to know each partner made sure to give your fish the best chance possible. Each of us made sure to haul the fish with plenty of aeration since you know fish need oxygen too. We also made sure to temper your fish by mixing river water with the transport water. We were all a bit sad not having you with us and missed your enthusiasm. So if you see us, make sure to say hello, it would make our day. Some of you had the opportunity to raise our New Mexico state fish, the Rio Grande Catro Trout. I have to say, they looked beautiful. And for some students along the Rio Grande, know that you have the honor of being the first students to host the endangered Rio Grande Silver Minnow. This was a first. And a big round of applause goes out to the students who learned how to successfully hatch trout eggs. For those down in the Gila, I'm sad I didn't get the chance to meet you this time around, but Dustin and Tim had great things to say about all of you. You took on the challenge of raising the threatened Gila trout and native fishes in your local community. All of you displayed great stewardship skills, and I can't wait to see what you do in the future. So enough from me. There are others waiting to say a few words. Hey guys, it's Dustin down on the Gila. Hey, I just wanted to let you know that um, even though this year didn't turn out exactly like we had hoped, uh, that I'm very proud of you and the work that you've accomplished. I know that when you went home for spring break, you weren't planning on leaving for the rest of the year. Uh, but that's just the way things worked out this year. But a lot of you are probably wondering what happened to your fish and I just want to assure you that they were in good hands. So we worked with your teachers and we were able to get them out in the rivers and the streams. Fish from Daddle and Kamado went to the catwalk and the fish from San Lorenzo and Harrison uh, went to Sapio Creek. I hope that you find uh, some comfort in knowing that your fish made it. They're out in the wild and they're contributing to the recovery of this unique species. Um, I hope that you have gained some knowledge over this semester and I hope that you take it with you and uh, really apply that to not only your life in school, but also your life outside of school. You know, I'd love to see you guys get out to the catwalk, go see your fish, get out to Sapio Creek and go see your fish there as well. You know, get out and explore the wilderness and the places where these fish had survived throughout time and we're able to, to, you know, make it into your classroom. So I really encourage you guys to take this time to, to, you know, educate your family on what you've learned and educate the people around you, but also get out and experience this and experience these places where these unique species are from. Hey students, it's Ranger Chris. I'm here on the bank of the Rio Grande. I'm getting ready to release the native fish that you had in your classroom. So I just wanted you to know that they're being returned to the river and we picked a beautiful spot here on the Rio Grande with a nice braided river channel and good cover on either side of the bank. Your fish are right there in those buckets. Well students, there's your native fish from the classroom. I hope you can identify some of those species. It's a little more difficult from up above, but I bet some of you can do it. Hey students, here's a close-up look at the Rio Grande Silvery Minnow all in uh, one bucket here together. So it makes it a little bit easier to identify them. We're getting ready to release them um, into the Rio Grande. So this is your chance to say goodbye. They are all in really good condition and so I thank you for all the hard work 
that you put into taking care of them inside your classroom. The students were able to release all of your fish right into the river. There's the empty buckets. The fish are right out there. I'm enjoying the Rio Grande. It's been a gorgeous day here on the river. And I'm so glad we had an opportunity uh, to show you your fish getting put back into the river. And I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. And hopefully you got to enjoy part of this beautiful day just like I did too. Hope to get to see you soon. A quick hello from Ranger Janine. She wishes she had more, but they had a few technical difficulties. Your fish did great, and she hopes you are all well and hopes to see you soon. From North Central New Mexico, we have Taliso Ortega with Taos Pueblo Division of Natural Resources and Miss Clarine Espinosa, Taos Day School, who were out near the John Dunn Bridge on the Rio Grande. They released trout hatched by middle school students from Taos Day School. They made sure to acclimate your trout to the river's temperature by placing the buckets in the river water and patiently waiting. Miss Espinosa didn't think the trout wanted to leave. Even with some gentle encouragement, the trout still had resistors who seemed to like the safety of the bucket. Miss Espinosa was very sad to say goodbye to your trout and it was hard not having you all there to give the trout a proper send off. She'd like to thank Brian Basin, New Mexico Native Fish Supervisor, Principal Hamowitz, and especially you, her middle school students who made this experience a success. Here we have Rio Grande Cutthroat Trout making their way to the Rio Grande with the help from Ryan Suazo Hines and Joseph Apeda from Tosuki Environment and Natural Resources Department. Ryan and Joseph carried them to a stretch of the Rio Grande within the Bureau of Land Management's or Rio Verde Recreation Area. And just as with all our fish, Joseph checked temperatures to make sure they were acclimated before helping them dive into the Rio Grande. Wrapping things up here in northern New Mexico, dropping off the last of the Rio Grande Cutthroat Trout. Students, I want to thank you for your dedication as stewards to your native fish. Your hard work was not in vain and is greatly appreciated. Give a shout out to our partners across New Mexico who work diligently with your teachers to retrieve your fish and deliver them to their final destinations along the Rio Grande and Gila rivers. And just as Dustin said, I hope you get the chance to visit your fish explore your local watershed, and share your experiences. It may be hard to spot your fish when you go to visit them, but you never know what else you may find. Where there is water, there is life.